What's up, VC? What's up, Vinyl Community? It's Dan, the Vinyl Geezer, hanging out with you for at least one more video. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be visiting some of my recent metal acquisitions. So what is it about metal? I, I can't really explain it. I, I guess it's my first true love in music. You could, I guess, say maybe this guy was really my first true love in music. I he just loved Buddy Holly. Uh, I saw the movie with uh, the guy, you know, the teeth. Uh, Gary Busey. I saw saw the movie with Gary Busey as Buddy Holly when I was a kid, and just absolutely loved that movie, and I loved the music in it. And Buddy Holly quickly became one of my favorite artists. So I guess metal would really be maybe the second love that really came in very forcefully into my life. When I was about 12, maybe when I discovered it, 11, 12. I think Twisted Sister was really the first band that I noticed. And I think that was part of the MTV generation. It was the whole, we're not going to take it you know, um, kind of thing. I, I remember those videos. Like, you know, is that a Twisted Sister pin on your uniform? You know, great stuff. And I think that was my real first kind of introduction into metal, and I was like, I'm paying attention. But then something amazing happened, which was Monday Night Metal. As I talked about in my last video, done by KC95 out of St. Louis, Radio Rich, he would come on, he'd be like, Wimp, Sweeney's, Mama's Boys. It's time for Monday Night Metal on Tuesday night, right here on KC. And he'd play all these heavy stuff. So I got I got to know Black Sabbath. I got to know Led Zeppelin. But one band in particular blew my mind. And that was Metallica. And it was the song Master of Puppets. And I think that was my first, like, <gasps> moment. Where it was really like, holy crap. Like, this is, this is something I gotta get into this. And then immediately went out and bought Metallica, and they've been my favorite band ever since. And they are in this stack of records. So we're going to be going over some recent metal records. All right? So here we go. And we'll just waste no time getting into it. So I've already wasted about three minutes of your life so far. So this first one is a Riding Easy acquisition. So you guys don't know Riding Easy Records, um, you should, because they have some amazing uh, in, kind of independent artists, I guess, maybe independent artists, they're kind of an indie label. It's Dunbarrow with Dunbarrow 2. These guys are uh, Norwegian. It's not what you'd expect, though. It's not like Norwegian death metal or something like that. This is actually on the other spectrum. This is proto-metal, very much Sabbath worship, but incredibly good. This in their first album. Dunbarrow. This is Dunbarrow 2. So, if you get a chance, check out some Dunbarrow. Occasionally, they will go on sale. I picked this one up, I believe, for $10. It's on the clear vinyl, and it's pretty amazing. Very, very much in the vein of Black Sabbath. Very much in the vein of your proto-metal Sabbath worship type bands. But, killer stuff. Check out Dunbarrow. Amazing stuff, really. Killer. Excuse me. All right. So you guys remember, okay. I don't know if you remember or not. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe you just got into this. Maybe, maybe you're watching this 10 years in the future. There was a $15 sale at Walmart during November of 2022. And they had some killer stuff at, at Walmart. And I found this and this was, this was a, uh, an album that I had wanted for a very long time. And I never found it in the stores. And it's Kisses, Creatures of the Night. Now, this is a repress. It's a half-speed master version. This is a great freaking album. I mean, this is amazing stuff. So It's got one of my favorite Kiss songs on it, which is I Love It Loud. But the whole album is great. It's, it's on the dark kind of spectrum of Kiss. And just look at that glossy cover. I mean, it's like a, it's like a nice tip on it. It's very... Very uh, good quality cardboard here. Must have been like a Stoughton or something. I mean, this is just 
this is beautiful it sounds really good now apparently it doesn't sound as good as the original which i haven't been lucky enough to ever pick up an original but i mean hey it's kiss creatures of the night one of my favorites from that band so and and, and i'm not a, like a huge kiss fan i love their first album i love destroyer i love the rock and roll over i you know i like the kiss stuff this is one of my this is one of my favorites this is like it's like their debut in that one they kind of go together in my opinion let's move on to an album i very i was very excited to get and i had been waiting for years now i've only need one more typo negative album this came out and this is typo negatives dead again back from 2007 i want to say this album came out and i just love the artwork here we have rasputin but what is really awesome and i wish all bands i wish all record companies would do this when they sent this i'm going to show you guys something this is a trifold it's not a gatefold it's a trifold it's got some great artwork here okay the records were not inside the trifold they were outside to prevent what we all hate which where it busts through the seam there so it was opened and i gotta show you guys the the vinyl of this it's uh, i'm not too into colored records all right i'm, I'm really not not in a colored vinyl uh it's just something i've kind of uh, avoided because sound quality normally isn't that great but if done right there's no difference and this is just absolutely gorgeous record this is one of the most beautiful vinyl in uh, of one of the be most beautiful vinyl records in my collection and it sounds phenomenal typo negatives dead again it's got my favorite typo song i think they're i think they're crowning achievement song which you know a lot of people a lot of you typo guys might might disagree with me but september sun i mean what can we say just phenomenal stuff typo negatives dead again now i only need life is killing me so that comes to 25th anniversary is it 25th anniversary of that 20th anniversary this year of life is killing me so run out groove's been doing them i'm pretty sure they're going to be releasing that one i haven't seen anything official but really hoping for life is killing me all right got this next one for christmas and you know the wife is asking me like what what kind of rec what records do you want for christmas maybe you know like what what would be something you would be you would want and i was like oh you know i'm always on the lookout for sabbath bloody sabbath and it never shows up ever it just never does and bam had a record underneath the uh, christmas tree she found me a nice beautifully well taken care of sabbath bloody sabbath this artwork is just so creepy i mean look at that you know dude's laying in bed and he's got all these demons and whatnot around him that's a kind of a theme in black sabbath isn't it just great artwork on this one and i think an off times overlooked album i mean there's just some killer stuff on here so sabbath bloody sabbath soon the sabbath collection will be finished just need need a few more still need never say die and technical ecstasy those are i think that one at 13 would be great to have but i haven't looked at the prices on 13 i believe they're still kind of in the stratosphere so keeping with the black sabbath kind of aussie tradition i did pick this up as well and this is Ozzy Osbourne's Patient Number 9. I've talked about this album pretty much ad nauseum in every one of my videos that I've come out with lately. If you're thinking about this album, and you're thinking, I just don't want to hear a new Ozzy record, but you're an Ozzy fan, I think you want to hear this Ozzy record. I really do. It doesn't suck. It would kind of, you know, it's kind of like, uh, there's all these bands that are coming out with, with new albums that I just don't, I, just, I have no interest, but 
This Aussie record smokes. You've got Mike McCready. You've got Jeff Beck. You've got Clapton. You've got Zach, of course. Tony Iommi. This, this is a true, truly well done, really good Aussie record. Now, I totally skipped over Ordinary Man, and, and everybody's like, no, you need to get that one too. I can't speak for that one, but I will speak for this one. This album kicks ass. I dig the new Ozzy stuff. I love Patient Number 9. This is just great. Yes, is there some Melodyne? Is there some pitch correction? Is there some auto-tune? What they call auto-tune? Yeah. It's okay. Trust me. The music rises above the production value. Anything that was done in production, it rises above. It feels like an Ozzy record. Mike McCready's song, in particular, Immortal, song kicks ass. It's really good stuff. Anyway, love it. This is one I have been overlooking, passing on for a while now. And it, it's been mainly just due to, you know, having a, a handful of other records at the store when I would when I would want to pick this one up. So I had ordered, I think I ordered Smashing Pumpkins Gish from Acoustic Sounds. And it was going to cost me like 14 bucks for shipping, or I could just spend like 20, I think it was $21 extra and get free shipping. So I was like, this is the perfect time to add this. And it's just, it's not that I dislike this record. I actually really like it. I kind of burnt myself out on it when it came out. And that's Metallica's Death Magnetic. Produced by Rick Rubin. Famously has that wall of sound. That squishy, you know, loudness wars. The vinyl doesn't seem too bad. I don't know. You know, it has to be mastered differently than the digital stuff so but great stuff on here all nightmare long it's one of my favorites you know just it's it's metallica coming back kind of into form it's kind of like so i've got i've got this love hate with metallica especially like black album load reload i i kind of have this love hate with them and this seems like a true return to form for Metallica. So this was just your life. Another killer track on this one. Metallica's Death Magnetic. Love that artwork. Killer stuff. All right, last but certainly not least, and there's another. There's a special mention that has to go with this. It's something I haven't listened to yet. And there it is. No, that's not it. Um, just give give me a, give me a second. I'll find it. Maybe I might I might just edit this out. If you're still seeing this, then I, I didn't edit it out. Okay. So um, anyway, I mentioned needing a record in one of my last videos, and it was from 1983. It was my records that turned 40, and I was talking to my friend Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records, and he's like, "Motley Crue shot at the devil, man." That's 40 years old this year. And I said, I don't have that one. I haven't been able to find one except for the represses, which I was completely just, I, I got a Dr. Feelgood reissue that one of the newest reissues that came out and I did a video on it and it was so polite sounding and it just sounded, AKA it sounded like crap. I was not a fan of the way it sounded. Um, and sometimes that gets in the way of enjoying a record if it doesn't sound great. And so I was like, yeah, I don't have that one. And he's like, hey, man, I got one. He gave me a killer deal on it. And that's Motley Crue's Shout at the Devil, which, of course, is an incredible record from Motley Crue. And in their top three records to me is uh, Shout at the Devil, Too Fast for Love, and Dr. Feelgood. This one, yeah, great stuff. Motley Crue's Shout at the Devil. I want to thank Brian for that. And he threw in... He's like, you lead a Ford fan? I'm like, yeah, who isn't? And uh, he's like, he threw in Lita Ford's Out for Blood. And I haven't listened to this yet. I haven't had a chance to. Um, Deck's been spinning a lot of catch-up music lately. 
And, you know, it's, uh, it's, I kind of do the Henry Rollins thing, which is like protein listening during the week, which is like stuff I'm not overly familiar with and carb listening on the weekends. So all the, all the stuff that I love, I kind of do on the weekends. So this, this is more of a protein listen to me right now. It may become a carb listen. So protein listen versus carb listen. And it's not really necessarily a weekend thing. I just tend to float towards carbs, like in real life as well. I, who doesn't like some, some good old carbs? Anyway, guys. So, yeah. Shout out to my friend Brian. Thanks for throwing that in, dude. And, uh, yeah. Just uh, want to say thanks to all the new subs. Thank you, guys. I want to say thanks to Guz, Gustavo. Um, he did a uh, shout out in his latest video. One of his latest videos, and I, I really appreciate that. And uh, thank you for the new subs, and uh, just appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah, so if you've made it this far, and you're not subscribed, go ahead and, you know, hit that subscribe button. I mean, you might as well. I've got like, you know, I don't know, hundreds and millions of views on, on all my videos. And like, you know, it seems like you know, out of all the unique li listeners and viewers of, of my videos, you know, like there's millions of you that are not, that are not subscribed. So, I mean, come on, you know, do me a solid. Anyway, just kidding. I don't, I don't, I think that if you added up all of my views, it would be, it would be embarrassing. <laughs> like if you had channel views, just like all scrunch, I don't even want to know. Pretty embarrassing for the amount of videos that, uh, that I've got up here, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, you guys, take it easy. Keep digging them records. There's a video that's going to pop up here or here. I don't know which side it goes on, but there's one that will say subscribe, and there's one that will give you a video that uh, is tailored for your individual watch experience. It's 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 your it's this is one of these. It's your algorithm, and it's just watch. Why not watch it? Why not, why not hit the thing? Sub the geezer. Give him some watches, all right? You guys take it easy. Keep digging them records. Peace. I love you guys. Bye-bye.